Utah. The Superdome is primed for the 2021 season, and we're ready for season three of Errands. But before we jump ahead, time to look back. You know, let's recap season two, where we made it work during the pandemic. Archie, you know, in these times, we have to be PC, pandemic correct. Absolutely. So you haven't kicked a football in a long time, Morton Anderson. Yeah, how do you know I haven't kicked a football in a long time? <laughs> Huh? Are you spying? <laughs> I've always thought you're very social, but you just pick your spots. Yeah, I, mean, I guess selectively social. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite son? <laughs> <laughs> we have to thank all of our guests. And speaking of thanks. Yes, we have to thank our longtime sponsor, Bridgetone Tires, and one of their marquee locations here at Chabill's Tire and Auto Service in Booty, Louisiana. You know, when you think about it, Saints Legends and Tires have something in common. Tires, Saints Legends, there is some common ground. I mean, think about it. Take this Bridgetone Tire right here. Great track record, dependable, kind of like Saints Legend Archie Manning. We loved our Aaron's episode with the Saints Legend where we asked him, among many questions, how would he have fit in in today's Saints offense? If Archie Manning would have played in a Sean Payton offense, how would that have been? Well, uh, I would just say <laughs> any quarterback would want to play in a Sean Payton <laughs> no, but offense. No, you, but how would you be there? I would have been pretty good. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> in, my humble, in my humble way. Our errands with the legendary Archie Manning include going down memory lane at Newman High School where his sons played and now his grandson plays, his restaurant, and during the pandemic, he showed us the Manning gym inside of his house. It's kept me, I mean, it's, you know, because people couldn't go to their health clubs, and uh, <laughs> I've been in here a lot. We kick the tires on two legendary kickers in the history of the New Orleans Saints. Come on, when you think of kickers, Morton Anderson is front and center, the Hall of Famer. He has so many records, but in our episode of Aaron's, we wondered, what is his favorite record? I think the one that stands out to me the most is 360 consecutive games scoring. In other words, 22 and a half years, you can't be hurt, can't be injured, you can't miss a game, and you have to score in every single game consecutively for over 22 years. Mm -hmm. That one I don't think will ever, ever be broken. The Great Dane had a great career, and in one of the best errands of season number two, we tailored this Hall of Famer's gold jacket. This is special. You have to treat on, this on good, a right? gold hanger, no less. Oh, nice. I don't think it's real gold. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh, long time no see. Long time no see, but one of my favorite kicker. This one actually ripped right here. I ripped it in the Superdome. Oh, you did. I was with Jimmy Buffett for the NFC Championship game a couple of years ago, and I ripped it on one of the corporate signs, the frame. And Jimmy goes, oh, "I can fix that. He get some super glue out." Oh, Jimmy Buffett tried to fix it? <laughs> Did he really? It didn't work, so I had to come to my friend here to yeah. get it done. Speaking of kickers, when you think of Garrett Hartley, what do you think of? Of course, this kick to take the Saints to the Super Bowl, something Hartley encounters on a daily basis. You're defined by a great kick. Do you get asked about that kick almost every day? Uh, a lot of people, they're like, you know, the biggest ones is, you know, how are you feeling? Were you nervous? And you're like, no, I wasn't nervous. Heck yeah, I mean. <laughs> oh, we had fun running errands with Garrett Hartley, went to the pet store to tend for his dog, and this outdoorsman really geared me up. Put this on, it's a little bit bigger, but man, you're comfy, you're toasty. I'm like the holder, he's the kicker, you know? Let's ready, let's go do some duck hunting. <laughs> hey, we'll save that for another one. <laughs> you know, just like these tires, there's been a long line of great Saints wide receivers, and a good tire, you know, hits the ground running much like the career of Marcus Colston. In our Aaron's episode with the all-time leading Saints receiver, we wondered how on earth was he never in the Pro Bowl? I, I can't lie, it bothered me maybe my first couple years. Right. Um, but when I, when I really look back at it, I didn't, I didn't play for any of that, man. Like, I, I played for, I, I played so that my peers would respect me. Yeah. But how does that happen, though? I mean, how do you explain that? Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's you guys, man, it's you guys. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> For the quiet storm, we ran a few errands. We bought him a sweater for his commencement address at UNO, and we had fun going the drive through for a cup of joe. Can I grab a tall espresso number 22, please? A tall 22, anything yep. else for you? You know, the quiet storm, you know when to speak up a little bit. He can hear you in the drive through that was good. You guys like coffee? 
Because not everybody's a coffee drinker. No, nah, not everyone. Yeah. Meacham coffee guy? No, not as much. No, huh? Lance? Nope. Devery? Nope. So you're the outlier. Yeah, I might be the outlier. OK, there you go. It wouldn't be the first time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> While we're making analogies with tires and Saints legends, come on, it really applies to those defensive players. Tires are tough as nails, kind of like the career of linebacker Pat Swelling, who should be in the Hall of Fame. But in our Aaron's episode, we played the Saints what if game. What if you took the Dome Patrol and placed them with the Saints modern day offense? I'd have had 10 rings. <laughs> <laughs> Ten of them. Might have 20 as on his toes as well. I mean, that would be a marriage made in heaven. Problem is, I wouldn't get any sacks, so they stay on the field too long. <laughs> right. With Swilling, we ran lots of errands. He showed us his man cave, but this land developer really likes going to Lowe's. How much? Take a listen. You're coming up on my most favorite area that I buy a lot all the time. All right. And you know what that is? What is it? Clearance. Oh. Scratch, <laughs> scratch and dent. <laughs> scratch and dent. Look at this washing machine. Regular $5.99. You can get it for $2.99. You can't beat that. This is, these are the errands I run every day. Speaking of linebackers, Scott Shanley had a great career with the New Orleans Saints, but in his upbringing in Nebraska, he didn't know too much about football. Where does the football gene come into play with you? I, I, I don't know. I mean, when I was a young kid, I had no idea what football was. I can remember being a kindergarten first grader in school at, the, at recess, and my best friend was like, hey, you wanna play football? And I had no idea, I was embarrassed because I had no idea what to do. Shanley's errands included taking care of something that is near and dear to him. Ah, that Super Bowl ring. Ooh, there we go, looking exactly like it should look. That might be, that might be shinier than when I opened it that night at the, <laughs> at the celebration. <laughs> Try to take as good a care of it as I can. Take a lot of pride in it. So season number two, we had a lot of great guests, a lot of fun, but brace yourself. Season number three, we're gonna mask up five more episodes, more great guests, lots to look forward to. Keep it here on all the Saints platforms. <laughs>